Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Strong Shalom to the hopeful elect. Brothers of Raya Allah coming back with another lesson and transit through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I was just meditating on a couple of things, and it's just like when when we face adversity and when we go, you know, through things, we got to always have integrity, man. And we got to, you know, continue to have faith in the Lord that he going, you know, take care of us and things are going to be all right, man. And some things we just have to take to the chin. So a personal testimony for myself today, you know, wasn't, you know, really a good day, had some bad news and things of that nature. Things didn't go how I wanted it or how I planned it to be. But we have to understand that everything is done in the Lord's will, man. And everything is going to be done by his will. <laughs> and just because things didn't go exactly how you planned it or exactly how things you wanted it to be or how soon you wanted things to happen, that's not how it goes, man. You're not on your time, man. We're on the Lord's time, man. You know? And that's something that I had to, you know, check myself, man. I had to have a, re a reality check on myself and do some self-examination. Because at the end of the day... The Lord is going to take care of his elect, man. The Lord is going to take care of the ones that truly have faith and integrity, you know. The Lord is going to have your back, man, no matter how hard it gets, man. And, and Satan can use certain different types of things, you know, when things don't go your way to try to play, you know, mind tricks on you to be like, oh, man, the Lord ain't, you know, dealing with you or the Lord... You know, he doesn't care for you. Why would this happen if he care for you? You know, he had, he had Satan to try to, you know, tempt you. It's like how he did Yahweh Shai, man. When he, when he, you know, talked to Yahweh Shai, said, if thou be the son of the most high, you know, things of that nature turn, you know, this, uh, these, uh, I believe it was stones in, in, into bread, man. And the, and Yahweh Shai replied back, man, he cut him, he cut him back. He said that man shall not live by a bread alone. But by the uh, word of the Heavenly Father, man. And we're all living by the word of the Heavenly Father, man. Because this is his word, man. And everything that's happening and everything that's going on, it was already preordained, man. It was already destined for that to happen. So with that being said, you can't get upset or you can't, you know, get discouraged because something, something you know, in your life happened on this specific time or this specific day, man. It was already written for it to happen, man. These are... Yeah, how about Shimmy Alshai's words, man? And we gotta, and if we truly trust in his word, man, we gotta believe that, hey, man, even though that this happened, man, the outcome of the whole end all be all is gonna be better, man. And we know what the whole outcome is, man. It's the kingdom, man. It's the kingdom. And that's, you know, what we fighting for, man. We fighting for that kingdom, man. And I just got a um a quick scripture. You know, it was a scripture that I used to um meditate on you know when i used to walk home from school or just walking from you know basketball games and i'll always you know kind of be upset but then i will always think to myself man about this scripture that you know my grandma used to always have me say man she always tell me you know be the you know be the head not to tell a leader not a follower you know what i mean and, and, and things of that nature and this was uh one of the scriptures that she quoted you know and even though, you know, my grandma was not in the truth and things of that nature, this, this scripture still stuck with me, you know, because it, it, it spoke a lot of, you know, volume and, and, and meaning to me, man. You know, so I figured I'd share it with the Akim and, and just pulled it out. And, and some of the brothers may know, you know, this precept or it might be one of their favorites, you know. So I just want to pull it out real quick. This is Psalms 27 and 1. It says, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is my light and my salvation, right? Because... What do the scriptures also say? The scriptures also say that ye are the children of light, man. You know? And, and we're in a world of darkness, man. So, in order to have that light shine upon us, man, we got to have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the spirit of him, in us, man. So we can have that, you know, that light, man. Uh, that candle light, man. Like it speak about in uh, Matthew 24, man. The, the wise virgins and the foolish virgins, man. So uh, I'm going to read it again. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Right, man. So who shall we fear? Or what shall we fear, man? We shouldn't fear anything, man. The only thing that we should be fearing is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Because he's in control of everything, man. He is the true power. He's the king of terrors, man. He's the man of war, man. He, he's that guy, man. You know? 
He's the the Allah Hayyam, man. The Yahweh. He exists. Yahweh Shai, man. He's our Savior, man. That's that's the that's the true power, man. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's who we fear, man. Nothing else we should fear, man. You know, it says the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Yahweh Shai is the strength of my life, right, man? So even His name alone, man. Us believing on His name alone, man, is the strength of our life, man. Because we know us believing on His name, man, and His and His true power, man. Man, He's He's our strength, man. These scriptures, you know, comfort us, man. You know, so he he's the strength of our of our life, man. And it says, and of whom shall I be afraid, man? Right, man. So you shouldn't be afraid about, you know, the certain things that happen or when you get in little sticky situations, man. You got to apply these scriptures and, and, and put on that, that armor, man. You know, and, and, and that's something that, you know, I needed a reality check on, man, today, man, because I got a little discouraged. You know, I got a little down, but then I realized, wait, man, why am I doing this, man? You know? Man, I got to, you know, take it to the chin, man, up and, and, and just suck it up, man. Because the Lord is going to chastise the ones that he loves, man. And, and, and that's written, you know. Uh, I'm going to keep, I'm going to continue to read down. Uh, it says, when the wicked, even, uh, it says, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell, right, man. So our enemies are going to come against us, man. But you know what's going to happen? They're going to fail, man. Because the Lord is not going to let us be consumed, man. Because the Lord has mercy, man. It's a thing called mercy that he has, man. And he made a promise to our forefather, forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. You know? And for those promises, we will not be consumed by our enemies, man. So it don't matter what our enemies do to us. No matter how, whatever type of way they try to come through us. Whether it's through our women. You know, whether it's through... You know, work, you know, whether it's just to, you know, just life or, or, or family members, man, they're going to fall, man. And, and what's going to happen, man? Even if we fall, we're going to get back up and keep fighting, man. Um, Verse three, it says, though an host should have kept against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me and this, I will be confident. Right, man. So we have to be confident, man. We have to be confident in the Lord, man. You know, we have to be bold in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And, and that's another, you know, synonym for, for confidence, man. Being bold in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We're supposed to be glorying that we have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But also being, you know, humbled, you know, in a sense. It says, verse 4, one thing have I desired of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that I, Salaki, that will I will seek, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord Yahweh all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord Yahweh and to inquire in his temple. It says, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock, man. Right. And ultimately, you know, that rock is, is, is Yahweh Shai, man. That rock is Yahweh Shai. That's that strong, you know, foundation, you know, of, of the temple, man. You know, of the, of the tabernacle, man. You know, and with that, man, you just got to, you know, Yahweh Shai is faith, man. He He's he's also, you know what I'm saying? The word, man, going back to pursuing to John uh, one and one, you know, he's he's that word, man. And his word, man, he, he's the foundation. So we have to continue to stand on that foundation and, and keep growing in his ministry. And even though we may be chastised, even though, you know, our enemies might rise up against us and things of that nature, we have to trust that the Lord, you know, is going to have us in his secret place man in a, in a time of trouble man especially in times that we coming in man so this is something that i was just meditating on it was just a, a quick exhortation you know through the spirit i pray that it was edifying i'm gonna give all praise honor and glory to our heavenly father and only begotten son by the true names yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem racha hakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone strong shalom to the hopeful elect Ababa Ball, Kwame Yasharala, Shalawan.